Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is how do I get my boyfriend to stop being jealous of my confidence and my success? Well, the short answer here is that, that you're not on the same page in your life right now. You might be in a better place with what's happening in your career, your friendships, all aspects. Whereas they might be missing something. Maybe their job isn't where they want it to be at the, at the time and you're just moving along really well. Well, it's not your job to try and give your boyfriend confidence. It is your job to be there and be supportive, but not at the expense of him critiquing and criticizing your success because that is so unhealthy and it's not a true partnership because you don't cut each other down and want you know bad things for them in their life you want them to be successful you want them to be happy because their success and happiness becomes yours when you're both happy and content in a partnership it's usually because you're both doing well outside of your partnership you don't rely on anyone to make you the person that you are you have only yourself to rely on that way so if somebody is squashing your level of, of where you are with everything you're doing in your life, and it's great what's happening for you, they're not your person because you want to be with somebody who can help you along and guide you and be supportive just like you will be for them. But if they're starting to say, make verbal um, accusations at you and as I said earlier, squashing you, it's not something that you should allow yourself to be in. You need to talk to somebody, get some counseling. If you've been in your relationship for a long time and this is a new scenario for you, but you shouldn't be in a relationship where somebody is always putting you down and upset because you're doing great. Being in a partnership should consist of a reciprocated respect for each other you truly do want the best for each other and this is a good indication of when you're in a healthy place with somebody it sounds like your your boyfriend is in a place of feeling that he's not worthy of something that you're doing so much better than him so it makes him look within himself and feels even more that he's not doing enough because you're doing so great but we all have times in our lives where we have things that go really, really smoothly and great for us, and then other times, not so much. And this is the trials and tribulations of living your life. If you don't have times where you might fail a little bit or you need to work on some things, you're not growing and evolving. So it's not a bad thing when you're having to find yourself and figure out why things aren't happening for you, such as in your boyfriend's case. He's jealous because things are working out for you. Your boyfriend probably needs to talk to somebody so that he can find a way to evolve to his higher self because he seems like maybe he might be stuck right now. Maybe he's tried all these things that aren't working for him. So now he's got himself in a little bit of a victim mode of why they're working for you and not for him. This happens to all of us. It's not a bad thing. It's just something that we need to work on within ourselves. Because if we're starting to get to the point where we're ripping apart our partners because they're doing well, then we're probably not in the right relationship because we should always be happy for our partner's success. That's when you know you're with somebody of good caliber and you're in a, in a really strong and powerful relationship because you can be there for each other and be happy for their accomplishments. It's also really important for you to ask yourself, has it always been like this in our relationship or is this something new? Because if it's something new, then you can maybe talk to him about it. Maybe he'll open up to you about what isn't happening for him and why he's kind sort of down on your success because he's jealous because you're doing so well and he doesn't know how to get out of this place he's in right now. But if he's always been like that, then you have to question why you were attracted to him. What brought you here? Is it because you're more successful than him and you're in control? These are things you have to pay attention to because he could resent it if you're getting more and more and more things happening for you and he's never really had exactly what he wanted, but this is how you knew him. So be very careful 
that you're not attracting somebody um, so you can be the powerhouse in the relationship because that's another thing that can happen and can be why people feel feel like they're not doing well when they look at you and then they start getting upset with their own own um, situation that isn't happening so then what they do rather than fix it they start making comments and digs which is extremely unhealthy for them and for you who's winning here nobody the trouble with somebody that talks down to you or squashes your accomplice accomplishments is when you hear it enough sometimes you can actually start to believe it and that can be a problem because then it will stop you from pursuing your goals and achieving the things that you want to achieve because you've got this little voice inside of your head and so that's why it's not healthy to be in this type of a relationship because this is what makes a partnership when you are supportive all the time of each other and if you do have a moment where you're you're feeling insecure about something, tell your partner, this is why I'm sort of being down right now, why I'm saying negative things, because I'm in a negative place in my own head. I'm not saying that's okay for them to do that, but at least then they're owning it. And if they're owning it, then you can probably find a way to help each other through this. If this is happening a lot, I would really suggest that you do find a neutral person, a professional that you can talk to and figure out what's going on. If you offer to be in the counseling session with them, I think it would be better than them going alone. Maybe they can go alone at a later date, but just find out like what's going on. Like, is there something that you're doing that's making them feel a little bit insecure? Maybe, maybe you're talking about it too much or I don't know. I'm just throwing things out here because it can happen sometimes when you are all of a sudden you get all this success and it's happening and happening and happening and that becomes all all you talk about and that can be a little bit hard on somebody who isn't at the same rate with their stuff as you are so regardless staying in this environment for a long time is not where you want to put yourself so please find out whatever you can see if you can make it work because otherwise you're going to be the one that's always compromising and have to stop being that successful person because you're upsetting your partner all the time and you don't want to change who you are because that's what, who you are and that's what makes you wonderful thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue I really appreciate if you could subscribe if you haven't already done so please leave any comments and click like on the video thank you so much everyone bye bye